This is the second part of our CineX Tools Overview, a walkthrough tour of the main sections or modules in the application. If you have not seen it, I suggest you first watch the Overview section. The first and main screen in CineX Tools is CineX Insert. This is where you do video, audio, and closed caption inserts from a source file to a target. It's laid out much like a nonlinear editor with a player or source window, and a recorder, or target window. The two halves contain all of the expected transport and edit point controls, many of which use the same shortcuts as your nonlinear editor, such as the JKL keys. In addition, via the View menu, tooltips that will automatically appear when the mouse hovers over a control can be turned on. In the corners of the main insert edit screen are timecode editors, where you can change the running timecode for a loaded file, as well as switch the file timecode between drop frame and non-drop frame. Across the top of the screen are several tabs for accessing other modules. Trim and Extend is for removing tops or tails from existing files, and will soon also enable you to add additional black filler to the start, middle, or end of a file. This is a special rewrap process that pours the program video, audio, and caption essence into a new wrapper or container while simultaneously making the required addition or subtraction. Rewrap and audio versioning enables you to transfer media essence into a different container, which is especially important for managing ProRes files. We'll come back to that in a moment. The audio versioning feature enables you to add or remove audio tracks, reroute or remap existing audio tracks, as well as use WAV files as the source for audio tracks. All of this also occurs as a rewrap, which is important to understand, as a rewrap is not an encode or transcode process. Rewrap is much closer to a file copy, making it significantly faster than re-exporting a changed show from the timeline. Also, the video, audio, and caption essence is not changed during a rewrap, so if you already checked it, you really don't need to check it again. The last tab is Create Insert Media. These are the Cynodec VMM files, Virtual Mastering Media, which is a long way of saying blacked files. VMM are pre-created files with a specific format, codec, audio channel count, etc. You can freely and randomly insert video, audio, and closed caption essence into these files, just like a blacked videotape. All of these current modules are included in the basic CineX Tools package, but there are additional modules planned, some of which will be cost options. An example is the UK DPP AS11 metadata editor. This is primarily of interest to content producers delivering files to companies that endorse the technical specifications set out by the United Kingdom's DPP, Digital Production Partnership. The CineX metadata editor simplifies adjusting, validating, and updating the DPP required metadata by making changes instantly. A few of the other modules being discussed are transcoding, file repair, and scripting to automate the processing of multiple changes. That's the end of this CineX Tools tutorial section.